welcome to Wilberforce Sixth Form College virtual tour. Uh, my name's Emily and I'm just going to take you on a, a bit of a tour of our college campus so that you can see the different areas, fantastic facilities that we've got. Um, this is you, your reception area that you're coming into now, so this is where you will come and find anything from bus timetables, uh, pastoral care, bursary information, um, is the reception and student services area here. And then if you follow me, I'll take you through. This is one of the university style canteens that we've got on site. So this is the area that you would come in for uh, morning breakfast, so full English breakfast. Uh, we've got pastries and then for lunch, hot lunches or salad bar is available. And also this is a, um, a bit of a hub where all of the students come for snacks during the day and when they're not in the lessons. So we've got vending machines, chocolate, crisps and drinks. And then if you follow me through to the blue room, again, this is just another area that our students come and socialise in. And so we do actually have quite a bit of gaming happening. Um, and I'm going to take you through to the atrium, which is one of my favourite spaces. So every morning before lessons start, lunch times, after college, and um, all of our students tend to hang out here, but it's also great study space. So we have lots of group study that's happening. And um, we've also uh, got major events that happen throughout the year. So if we've got any achievement awards and um, taste today, sometimes we do them in this area as well. Uh, we have the big screen. So the big screen always gives college information about what's happening uh, during the day, as well as news bulletins that we need to post up there. So if you follow me, I'll take you through to some of our other areas. So out in the glorious sunshine, we've been really lucky today. Um, obviously it's uh, getting into the 90s today, which is quite hot to do a, a tour within college, but it gives us a great opportunity for you to see the outdoor spaces. Um, again, where a lot of students will come and socialise uh, when it's hot months like this. So follow me into the science block. So this science block is one of our newer blocks. Uh, we have science and geography that, um, that take place in here. And hopefully we should see uh, our science technician in one of the science labs. Martin, hello. Oh, hello. Good morning. How are you doing? And I'm, what are you doing today? Well, what I'm doing is I'm trialling an experiment for A-level biology and A-level chemistry. It's an experiment that the year 10, year 11 students would have seen before at school. But they're doing a little bit more of a sophisticated method. This is just yeast. I've put some yeast in there. It's just normal baker's yeast. But this is hydrogen peroxide and this will break down in the presence of an enzyme in the yeast and produce oxygen. Now, just takes a little bit of patience, but if you keep your eye on that glass tube there, you should see some bubbles of oxygen start forming. This is more sophisticated, there we are. Hello again. A little bit more sophisticated than at school, because at school you might have just measured the mass of the flask or counted the bubbles. Whereas here, if you notice, in this really nice upturned tube, it's accurate volume, so it can actually work out a rate of reaction. This is the sort of experiment that you do in A-level biology. We also do similar things in chemistry. And it's that step up from school, that step up from year 11. This is why I recommend you come to Will before six from college. I do loads of demonstrations like this on our uh, Instagram feed. Yeah, you've as well. got an Instagram. So make sure that you, uh, that you follow the biology Instagram. Yeah. What, what's it's the. At, yeah. It's just at Wilberforce Biologist. Don't forget the underscore between the Wilberforce and the Biologist. All right, thank you, Martin. Hey, you're welcome. Have a great welcome day. All the See best. You Cheers, guys. Bye bye. We've got more science labs that, um, that are within here as well as the geography classrooms. Now, again, a lot of the, um, the classrooms are not open just due to the pandemic. We need to condense uh, the amount of areas that we've got in the college that are open, but we'll show you as much as we can. And um, so follow me and I'll take you to some more areas.
So as we walk down here, you'll see that there are lots of different entrances. Um, it's a bit of a crystal maze, but you'll definitely find your way around when you get here. And so there are entrances that, uh, that will take you through just so that you can see how to get around the college. So we've got high-tech gym equipment. So this isn't just for sports students that, um, that are taking the course. You can actually use all of this gym equipment um, if you are a full-time college. So all you need to do is pay five pound uh, per year um, gym membership and you can utilize all of the equipment. So during study periods, if you're up to date with all of your work, lunch times before and after college. So it's definitely a space to make use of. We'll take you down to our sports hall, um, which is just out of the door. So it's not like you're having to move around a lot and find different classrooms. You're only around the corner. So this is the sports hall, so we've got lots of indoor activity that happens. Um, again, not just for the sporting um, element of the course, but we have lots of academies that are happening that you can get involved with. Um, netball, football, rugby. Uh, if it's horrendous weather outside, you can come into the sports hall here. So follow me and we'll have a look at some more areas. So we're now coming into end block. This is where um, art, textiles, uh, studios and photography studios are, as well as engineering. So come on this way. So we do display a lot of our artwork on the walls. Um, and we also put in for a lot of exhibitions that happen around the city and nationally. One of our students, Georgia Birch, um, she's actually just been on the Daily Mail online uh, with um, some artwork which represents her kind of take on the pandemic and what she's feeling uh, during lockdown. And she's done that through photography, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so make sure that you have a look on our website and you can see her work. And so this is the textile block, as you can see, nice airy room. And we'll also take you uh, down to one of the other art rooms. So follow me. So you can see this is another really light and airy space that we've got all of the types of tools that you would be using. Um, throughout your art classrooms uh, in school, but obviously they're a bit more technical. Okay, so we're now going to head to engineering. So here is one of our engineering workshops that I wanted to show you. Um, you would be coming here if you were training up to be more of like on the tools type of job. And um, so we've got fantastic facilities uh, for you to get to grips with if you're wanting to become an engineer. Um, we've then got uh, the technical side, so if you were thinking of becoming an architect, um, then some of these classrooms, uh, the design classrooms, this is what you'd be uh, coming and studying the most. Um, these are ones that we have had to shut down um, uh, during the pandemic, so unfortunately we can't show you uh, the full suite, but hopefully it'll be something that you'll be able to get into in September really quickly. So if hair and beauty is your bag and that's the type of thing that you want to achieve after you've uh, been to college, um, we'll show you the industry style salons that we've got. Um, now these are, as I say, industry style salons. So you'll not only be training in them, but you'll be working in them as well. So here is the hair salon. So as you can see, 
this is an industry style uh, salon. It is like you're working within a business. You'll have clients that come in, so the public will actually come in, and you'll have the opportunity to cut their hair. Absolutely fantastic salons. Uh, if you come with me, I'll take you into the beauty treatment room. Again, these are brand new as of last year. So we've got the type of beds, the type of nail bars that you would actually have if you were working within a beauty salon. It is unreal of what our students get to work with um, in this industry. So again, if hair and beauty is something that you're really passionate about, make sure that you come to Wilberforce. Right, if you follow me and I'll take you out and we'll head over to the other areas that we can show you. So this is just one of our IT suites um, and games design. As you can see, we've got great technology for you to use. They're high speed um, Windows 10 um, programs that we use. So you are using uh, top quality stuff for this type of, of program. Um, you know, to get you into that type of industry of wanting to be a games designer um, or IT specialist. So this is the newest part of the college. We have a fantastic employer engagement and careers uh, department up here. And so this kind of leads on from the atrium and you'll be able to come up here and get any type of careers advice, uh, work placement or uh, any employer links, which we really feel is so important for your next steps after college. Um, so this is where you come and you'll be able to get appointments um, daily if needed uh, or whenever you feel necessary. So thank you so much for coming to the virtual tour. If you have got any questions, please do put them in the question and answer section and we'll come back to you as soon as possible. If we haven't covered any of the areas and there are still some that you're wanting to see, we've got 360 tours and we can send them to you. So just email us at events at wilberforce.ac.uk.